for the fallout over the Republicans plan to replace Obamacare. Many San Diego families are worried about losing coverage and our tenders reporter Rachel Bianco joins us live. Critics say this new plan could wipe out millions for low income families. Rachel. Many of them carrying a health insurance card for the first time. Now they worry that their options for coming here to a hospital or seeing a doctor could be in jeopardy. I'm lucky to have this kind of care. Care that makes it possible for Galen Moore to afford his HIV medications. The med medications I take, some of them are upwards of five and six thousand dollars. You know, and I take three of them, so. Moore is one of the nearly four million people in California on Medi-Cal. Under the new health care plan, President Obama's expansion of Medicaid would be phased out in 2020. I think if it's not broke, don't fix it. You know, right now, I think you're Things are going fine. But plenty of people disagree. The new plan doesn't force people to buy insurance, but if you go 63 days without health care, you'll pay 30% extra when you do enroll. I'll drop my insurance tomorrow. If I need to get hip surgery next year, I'll pick it up. I'll pay 390 for three, four, five months, and I'll drop it. Insurance agent Craig Gusson says both sides need to find a way to get young people to enroll. So that you're not having people walk in use the system and then drop it. Because if that happens, you're gonna see every insurance company leave the market because they can't stay in business if nobody buys health insurance. Gusson says it's too early to say how many might lose benefits. Unfortunately, a lot of this is politics and I don't think any politician is gonna get reelected if all the people who are on Medicaid are losing coverage. Moore says that coverage helped him get back his independence. At the point now to where I'm ready to go back to work due to the health, the health care that I got. The plan is similar to President Obama's in that there is no penalty for people with pre-existing conditions and kids can stay on their parents' insurance until they turn 26. Reporting live in Hillcrest, Rachel Bianco, 10 News.